Okay, welcome to lesson seven. Uh, we're going to talk about something called lists. Now, a list is exactly what it sounds like. It is a list of items. A uh, key point uh, about a list is that it is an ordered list of items, as you'll see in a few moments. Um, so I'm going to make a list of names. And now the thing about lists is lists go in brackets. Okay, so I'm going to put my first item and I make the name Greg and then comma and my second item, Grant, okay, which is uh, two of the members of the legendary band Who's Could Do. So uh, I can print the length of the names. Okay, just like I did with a string, I can print the length, only in this case it will give me how many items are on the list. So I got Greg and Grant. So I'm gonna so I should say two. Okay, so I've got two. Uh, one thing here I guess I could do, I could say print names. And if I do that, you'll see the entire list. I know it's a list because it's got brackets. Okay, so that tells me that this is a list and you'll see something different uh, in a later lesson. Um, now if I want to add something to my list, I type the list name, which is names, and I use the append method, and in parentheses I put the additional information, and then Bob, which is Bob Mould, who's the singer of the band, and I can then again uh, print the different items on that. So I've added Bob, so let's just go ahead and say print the length, so that should change, that'll tell us kind of what, well, we'll just print it, actually, print names, and run, okay, so I've got Greg Grant, there's two items on the list, I've added Bob, now there's three, notice everything is in the same order, so I added Bob, Bob goes to the end, uh, now I can print out the various items, so print, so names, um, so let's say I wanted Sorry, names one. So if you look at that, which name do you think we're going to get? Are we going to get Greg? Or are we going to get Grant? Or are we going to get Bob? So drum roll, please. Grant. So just like we had with strings, uh, the index starts at zero. So Greg is zero, Grant is one, Bob is two. The number of items is three. So it's three minus one to get to the last item. Okay, um, I can also do, oops, I don't want to do that over there, although I could. I can also do slices, so print names, and if I want 0 to 1, so I want the first two names on the list, I can hit run. Oops, oh, sorry, not the first two names, the first name on the list. Uh, so that's really important. Notice it's 1 minus, so 0 and 0. If I wanted the first two names, I'll go run. So Greg and Grant, uh, if I wanted all three, because the length is three, I get Greg, Grant, and Bob. Now let me try four and see what happens. Okay, it printed. I thought we'd get an error, but that was nice. Um, so, but I think in regular Python you'd actually get an error, but I could be wrong on that one. Uh, let me try printing names four. Ah, okay, there you get it. You get an error, uh, but I think you should have. I should have got an error earlier, but maybe not. Uh, yeah, index out of range. So I tried to print name four, but there are only three names. So it gave me a nice little error reminder. Um, I could also do something like one colon, and that will give me from name one to the end, which is Grant and Bob. Okay. Now, uh, going back to the previous uh, lesson. Uh, loops, so index in range, 0, comma, oops, that was an O, not a 0, 0, comma, length of names. So the length of names is 3, because we've got Greg, Grant, and Bob. So for 0 to 3, of course it only always goes minus 1, I can print names index. Okay, so I'm going to run that. So notice it printed Greg, Grant, Bob on separate lines. Because it came down, zero. So names zero is Greg. Goes around, goes to the next one, which is one. Prints names one, which is Grant. Goes around, prints names two, which is Bob. And then it is done. And goes to the next line after that. Now here's something interesting. Uh, I could also do this for name in names. 
print name. So I'm going to run that. Okay, so you notice here these last three, Greg, Grant, and Bob. So again, this is the same structure we saw with the strings. So you think about this one as for each name in names. So Greg, print Greg. Grant, print Grant. Bob, print Bob. And it is done in order. Okay. We can also do something really cool with this. We can do names.sort and the sort method on a list. And then if I do that, for name in names, print name, it will sort them in alphabetical order for us. So we got Bob, Grant, and Greg. Okay. Uh, a couple things, lists don't have to be strings. I could make a list of, let's say, scores. Um, let's say I've got an 87, a 92, and a I don't know, 43, something did not do well. Um, so I have a list of scores, um, and I go for score in scores, so, you know, print score, for example. And if I run that again, so it prints those like that. Um, I could also go ahead and scores.sort, and instead of alphabetical order, it will give us the high to low order. Or low to high, sorry. So 43, 87, and 92. Okay, so again, this is not an exhaustive list of everything we can do, but uh, a nice little introduction. So that is all for lists. There's a lot more that can be done, but that'll hopefully get you started.